A lot has changed since the first time I did a building walkthrough video about five months ago. So I'm gonna do it again and tell you what has changed and what our new plans are for this entire building. So we're in the Ginormo showroom. We're still gonna have four studios on this side and four studios on this side. The only thing that's changed is what's inside of each room. The only thing you care about right now is the two music recording studios are now together over there. We have also added a balcony to the design and we're gonna have two staircases going up to it. Uh, we're gonna have extra offices and hangout spots up there. Four new offices in the front, two on this side, two over here. There's gonna be a little uh, reception type area right here to greet the people that walk through the front door. Walking into the back now, here you see all the doors are off the hinges. We're about to paint. The bean bag is still available for napping. We have decided to get rid of the checkered pattern ceiling and it only costs an extra 50 bucks per ceiling tile. The reason why it's taking us so long to actually move over from one office and into this building is because there's a lot of red tape with the city. There was a lot of things that were not grandfathered in with the previous owners and the fire department wants to make sure that if there's a fire or something that everybody in here can get out safely. So the architects have had to go back and forth and measure this and measure that and make sure that everything is to code. We also have to build an additional staircase on the outside of the building so that we have a place to escape to if there's a fire. I said maybe we just won't have any fires and that would solve all the issues. They didn't like that. Right this way, we're downstairs, and there's my office. Beautiful, complete, a little bit trashy. Stuff all over the place, don't worry about it. We're in reception, you remember the colored lights in reception, that's done. We are ready to put some furniture in here and make it all warm and welcoming for you. Here we are, dang, I'm getting a phone call. Yep, that phone call took a minute. So, this bay, photography bay, a little echoey, we're gonna fix that later. Uh, all the pillar lights are up, it looks phenom. The floor is done, the TV's up, boop, there it is. Um, the only thing else I have to do is make sure that this sliding door is working again because it just decided to quit after working for probably 20 years, so. Um, we also got a quote for new bay doors, these big beefers. $77,000. I haven't told you that yet, TJ. Mm -hmm. Not much has changed in here, but I am considering making the green screen bigger than the white psych wall now with the way the world is going uh, with the metaverse and uh, 3D renderings and the Unreal Engine and stuff. So we wanna make sure that the green screen is more accommodating to um, higher tech shoots. Ah, uh, the hit factory. The Hit Factory is very accommodating to more than just high-tech sets. It's accommodating the bubbles. Scared out of his mind. The last bit of signage from the old business that was in this building is gone. Well, it's going away. Will you be cutting it off right here? Yeah. Yeah, Perfect. I'm gonna try and cut it. Man. It's got sharp edge, I'll get it to dry. Tear it up. You're gonna do right. it. It's your damn place, <laughs> dude. Right. Alone. This is the this is the last piece of Mountain Motorsports signage. <laughs> Another riveting upgrade that we're making to this studio is a new doorknob. Before, the only way to get in here was by kicking the door open. Surprise, new money gang! Spare parts. 
If you know me, which you all know me very well, you know that I love aperture lights and I love connecting these aperture lights to the Citus Link app. No, we're not endorsed by Aperture yet. Aperture, can we not get a little something out of this deal? Anyway, what I wanna do is make it to where anybody can come in, use our iPad, connect to the Citus Link uh, app and turn on whatever set they're going to be in so that we can come in here and just press a couple buttons and change our lights around. This is gonna be a very smart studio. So Dyer Armory in particular has two lights at the moment. We will have some hair lights hanging from that bar up there at some point. But right now we have what I'm calling a uh, fill slash hair light. And that is listed here. Um, and I can turn that on and off from here. I can control the brightness from here. Very convene. And go back to fixtures and uh, control the key light over here. The intensity. Boom, that's bright. The reason I wanted it to be this smart was so that if you have a very small crew, then like you can sit here, if you're the person on camera, you can sit here where I am, control the brightness and stuff from your phone, and you can even look over here and see yourself in the monitor and really dial it in without having to get up, without having to uh, make major adjustments. We want you to be able to come in, sit down, hit record, and create your content. So I am done filming in the Dyer Armory set. So I can go ahead and shut those lights off and head over to the new Money Gang set, which is right next door. Turn on my key. Boom. And turn on my fill. Boom. And just like that, we're ready to record.